Good evening guys, going over home exercise number 82 for Friday. Uh, we're gonna start with two minute cardio choice. It can be run, bike, run, swim, double under, single under, toe taps, um, whatever whatever gets the heart rate going, you can do kettlebell swings. Right into a three minute EMOM, we're gonna do 30 seconds of high knees and then 30 seconds of air squats on each minute. And just keep doing those two things, okay? Following a five minute EMOM, you can do 12 alternating dumbbell snatches. So one, two to 12, and then right into uh, doing max double unders. Um, so that's every minute on the minute. And so when, when those five minutes are up, we're gonna rest two minutes and then repeat that, okay? So, you're, sorry, not repeat it. You're gonna do a five minute EMOM, uh, but it's gonna be 12 alternating dumbbell cleans. So finishing on the shoulder. So left, right, one, two, all the way to 12. Finishing up again with max double unders. After that, we're gonna have, um, it's up there eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That is uh, the definition of a Tabata. So you're gonna do that eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for each of those four movements. Alternating dumbbell hang snatch. Uh, so it's from the knees all the way up. You're gonna do eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, followed by plyo push-ups. If, if push-ups in general are easy for you, add a little bit of like uh, spice to it and give yourself, try to do like one of those push, push, like very aggressive drive off the ground where you, you can get some clearance under your hands, okay? That's what I mean by apply push-up. If you're not there, if we're still majority of doing push-ups from the knees or a knee or, um, you know, push-ups every 20 seconds with 10 seconds rest is hard, stick with just regular push-ups. Then we, then we got eight rounds of sit-ups and then eight rounds of ground overhead with a dumbbell. I'll show you what that looks like. Finisher is five minute AMRAP. You got 20 alternating bicycle kicks, 20 tuck-ups, and 20 Russian twists. So keep going through that as, as much as you can. So we're pretty good with the high knees. So we're kind of running in place, getting those knees up. Air squats, we're pretty consistent and know what we're doing with that. Alternating dumbbell snatches. Um, what we're gonna do guys is go from the ground on that one. And so you're going left, switch, right. So that's one, two, alternating dumbbell, and then double under, single under, so double, double penguin tap, uh, single pen, penguin tap, or use the jump rope. Um, alternating dumbbell cleans, so left to the shoulders, right to your shoulder, right? And so then you do, again, double unders. After that, the Tabata, the alternating dumbbell hang snatch. That's from the knees, so you can go outside or inside, up, switch, up, switch, okay? Uh, that by push-ups, sit-ups, and ground overhead. Let me show you the ground overhead before going to the ground, <laughs> actually. So the ground overhead, you're basically gonna hold the dumbbell like this, so that both heads of the dumbbell tap, and then we go up overhead. So make sure it's something you feel like you can get a good grip on. Um, uh, Hard to do, uh, honestly, with like 50s, uh, 40s. Uh, I know some of you guys have those at home. So uh, give, it a, give it a whirl, uh, but make sure you're using your hips as you're trying to get that heavier weight overhead. So the <clears throat> plyo push-up or push-up, whatever you end up choosing, if you, can, if you can get a little lift off the ground, great. But normally just going down with the push-up, a little plyo is getting a little, getting a little air underneath. Uh, Sit-ups. We know we're going shoulders to floor and shoulders up here. Bicycle kicks going in here. You can do elbow to elbow to opposite knee. Um, tuck ups and then Russian twists. Grabbing your weight, holding double head. All right, guys, have fun, uh, and I'll see you Saturday. Take care.